Hello crack it lovers. We are back with a very new video about Patent Academy of Health Sciences. We will be talking about every aspect of PAHS, let's begin now. Patent Academy of Health Sciences is situated in Patent, Lalitpur. It was established in 2008, but its mother organization is very old. It is worth noting that PAHS is a public not-for-profit tertiary academic institution. So throughout of this video, we will be talking about duration, seat distribution, donation schedule, course orientation, block system, exam schedule and internship schedule of PAHS. Duration of MBBS in PAHS is 5 years and 8 months. PAHS is an autonomous body, just like BPKIHS, and it aims to work in close partnership with the national health system to improve the healthcare services in the remote or rural areas through, among others, producing technically competent and socially responsible healthcare personnel. Pause the video and have a look at the table. Let's have a look on MBBS seats available in PAHS. There are 65 total seats of which 49 seats are for scholarship and remaining 16 for paying category. There are 27 general or open and 22 reservation scholarship seats. Reservation seats are further distributed among the particular groups. You can see them here on the screen. If you got admitted to PAHS MBBS program and paying category, then you have to pay about 35 lakhs, of which you have to pay 50% in the first year, 20% in second year, and 10% in each third, fourth, and fifth year. Now we will switch gear to curriculum of MBBS in PAHS. Two months introductory block has been introduced in order to provide common educational backgrounds for the students from two different streams, private and government, so that their performance would be matching and effective in the subsequent medical course. These are the components of the introductory block, biology, chemistry, physics, mathematics, statistics and medical informatics, scientific writing and communication skills. Community Health Science, Introduction to Clinical Medicine. It is worth mentioning that teaching methodology in PAHS is totally unique from other medical colleges of Nepal. One of the main goal of PAHS is to produce doctors who are well-trained and fitted to work even in rural areas of Nepal. Teaching methodology practiced in PAHS are problem-based learning, lecture, practical class, Residential Community Posting, Seminars, Assignments Basic Science at PAHS is of two years duration starting after the two months of introductory block. The objectives of Basic Sciences are to build the understanding of the structure and function of the human body, and mind in both healthy and disease states, understanding of the causes and mechanism of diseases. To build the strong foundation of basic sciences that is essential for understanding the underlying principle for clinical cases that will be applied in the clinical years. So these are the topic to be taught during your basic science. Human anatomy, human physiology, medical biochemistry, medical microbiology and immunology, pathology, clinical pharmacology, community health science, introduction to clinical medicine. Two years of basic science curriculum is delivered in the organ system basis. It starts with the principle of human biology, where basics of all the disciplines are covered. This will facilitate the students learning efficiently when the organ system block starts. Community health science curriculum runs parallel throughout the basic science courses. 
The details of the curricular goals have been elaborated in the respective organ system block as follow. Block, Principle of Human Biology 1. Block, Principle of Human Biology 2. Hemopoietic System, Respiratory System, Cardiovascular System, Gastrointestinal and Hepatobiliary System, Renal and Electrolytes, Endocrine, Metabolism and Reproductive System, Musculoskeletal System, Nervous System, There are five blocks in first year as follow. Principle of Human Biology 1. Principle of Human Biology 2. Hemopoietic System. Respiratory System. Cardiovascular System. Similarly there are five blocks in second year as well. Gastrointestinal and Hepatobiliary System. Renal System and Electrolytes. System Endocrine, Metabolism and Reproductive. Musculoskeletal System and Skin nervous system and special senses. Now we will talk about clinical years. The clinical years will consist of clinical specialties, community health, and a six-month district health postings. These are the clinical specialties that you will be studying and posted to. General medicine, general surgery, pediatrics, gynecology, obstetrics. General Practice, Psychiatry, Dermatology, Genitourinary Medicine, and Leprosy, Anesthesia. Furthermore, the clinical specialties comprise these specialties as well. Forensic Medicine, Emergency Medicine, Orthopedics, Ophthalmology, Otorhinolaryngology, Dentistry, Laboratory Medicine. Well, let's talk about elective posting. Elective system is a system whereby students have a choice of subject, teacher or method of study which leads to more broadly educated students. It also helps students to develop good organizational and planning skills. PAHS envisions sending medical doctors to rural Nepal. Therefore, in order to broaden the knowledge of the students and understand the meaning of life in a greater dimension, the elective options that PAHS opens to the students have non-school and within-school options. There is the provision of two weeks electives during the junior clerkship. It is entirely student-initiated and organized. Students should decide where he wants to do his elective. As mentioned earlier, PAHS aims to make doctors able to work in remote areas. There is a direct national need of training and enthuse medical students to work together with other health workers for the benefit of people in both the remote rural areas and the fast-growing urban towns in Nepal. Thus the course of PAHS combines classroom presentations with opportunity for student participation, individual and group exercises, integrated learning and real-world learning in community. Community health sciences have been the important priority of PAHS. They aim to make doctors able to work in remote areas. Basically, these are basic content of community health sciences. Management science for healthcare professionals. Epidemiology which is divided into basic, general, and applied epidemiology. Laboratory and public health program appraisal. Family health. Further content are. Food and nutrition. Biostatistics, demography, culture, society, health and illness, health education and behavioral change, ecological health. Community based learning and education, CBLE, is an important part of the curriculum of PAUSE. Students and faculty learn in the real-life situation by visiting the community and staying within them for a period of time. PAHS will initially work in several communities and gradually cover a whole district over time. The broader aim of CBLE is to provide benefits to the communities, the students and the faculty, and eventually to the national health system. Exams patterns in PAHS is very different from other medical colleges of Nepal. The PAHS medical curriculum is divided into three main phases for the purposes of assessment, the introductory block, the basic sciences, and the clinical phase. 
The mode of exams in PAHS is termed formative, which comprises of peer, self, and tutor feedbacks. Another mode of exam is summative which is entirely based on tutor feedback. Students must meet expectation or must pass in the process evaluation to appear in summative or final exam. Now let us talk about approximate date of exams. During introductory phase, formative exam will be taken after one month and summative exam after two months. During the basic science of your first, you will have to appear the following exams. Formative theory at the end of each block, formative practical in mid-year, summative exam at the end of year. Similarly during the second year of basic science, you will have to appear the following exams. Formative theory at the end of each block, formative practical at mid-year, summative exam at the end of year and comprehensive basic science exam at the end of year. Again, during your junior clinical clerkship which follows the basic sciences, you will be assessed and have to appear the following exams. Formative theory at end of each placement. Formative practical during placements and after six months, summative exam at the end of one year, comprehensive clinical science examination one at the end of one and half years of your clerkship. There will be formative assessment of each rural rotation as well. Finally, during the six months of your advanced clinical clerkship, you need to appear two exams. Formative theory at the end of each placement and comprehensive clinical systemic examination too at end of six months. These exams will mark the end of your course for MBBS in PAHS. But still you have to do internship. One year rotating compulsory rotating internship will be sixth year of the curriculum in which students will have to work in doctor's team in each of the following discipline. General Medicine, General Surgery, Obstetrics and Gynecology, Family Planning and MCH, Community Medicine. The duration of each internship and each discipline is tabulated here in the table. We hope you liked this video. PAHS is totally unique medical college in Nepal. Its curriculum is entirely based on international guidelines. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe the channel. Post your view about PAHS in the comment box, we will answer your queries. Check the description box for your gift. Thanks for being with us. Have a great day.